Hamish, right. thank you so much for taking the time. Really appreciate that. This announcement today, uh, I suppose a year ago, did you ever think that you were going to be preparing to defend the 37th America's Cup? No, certainly not a year ago. I recall when they first announced that Cyclores were coming back on the boat and it got announced while we were in MIQ on the way back from the Olympics. And I read the article and I thought, oh, you know, like that, that would actually line up pretty well with my with my skill set. But yeah, I just thought logistically there's no way it'll work. So I kind of just parked the idea and didn't really think too much more of it. Um, but then I guess Team New, Emirates Team New Zealand and representatives sort of reached out towards the end of or middle of last year and uh, sounded me out about it and, and I got a better handle on, I suppose, of what exactly was going to be required and um, the likely um, plans that they had and, and it actually works out really well with, I guess, my our family plans and our time overseas and um, actually in some ways complements our, our family plans. So um, once I figured that out, that logistics were going to be all good, it was a bit of a no-brainer to, um, to to dive in head first uh, and, and have a go at the trial. Fantastic. Uh, I suppose, what's your experience with sailing been so far? Have you be, ever been involved in sailing at all? What, what do you know about it? No, I mean, very little. I, I know I've followed the Cups. I can recall um, the 95 Cup with Peter Blake and the Red Sox. You know, like I followed every iteration of the Cup the whole way through. Um, so roughly know my jobs from attacks and, and that's about it. You know, I, I understand the format of the racing, but um, I was just thinking before, I even like I've been on a sailing boat, but only a small one and maybe once or twice and not for a very long time. So I, I really don't know much about sailing, but um, to be honest, in terms of the role that I'm required to perform, I think, you know, I need a basic understanding of the boat and, and that's really from a safety point of view more than anything, because there's massive forces involved and you don't want to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. But um, in terms of ability to sail, um, I'm not making any decisions. I'm just sitting there riding my bike and trying to provide as much power as possible or, or when it's required. So um, there's probably, you know, there's very little learning other than the basics that I could do. And then you have to say what use are actually the basics when I'm not making any decisions. It's like, you know, rolling a go-kart down the hill and then being given the keys to a Formula One car. It's just not really going to be that much use to you. It's a, it's a great analogy, but who better to learn from than the likes of Nathan Outeret, Blair Chuk, Peter Burling, you know, these are all uh, very well-renowned names in the sailing world. I suppose you, you built a bit of a formidable team, you'd like to think. Yeah, certainly. I mean, it's it's a double-edged sword, isn't it? You need you need the boat to be competitive and then you need the sailors to be able to sail the boat competitively. So um, certainly you can't have one without the other and uh, I'm really looking forward to being part of the the Cyclore team and providing the power that's necessary to get the boat out of the water and, and around the course. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, I'll inevitably, we've got quite a big, you know, it's, I mean, I'm sure it'll go quickly, but it seems like quite a big period of time to, to learn and pick up the skills that I need. Um, but I'm, I'm certainly aware that I, I'm just staying in my wheelhouse in terms of need to know basis, basically. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I suppose you're no stranger to hard work, but that selection process looked brutal. Uh, I've been watching some of the videos this morning that the guys took uh, from the gym back here. Obviously, you were in the States and we're, we're kind of um, a lone wolf uh, going through that by yourself. But can you describe to me what it was like being back on that what bike and uh, undergoing those tests? Yeah, look, I mean, I've it was hard, um, but I've done brutal testing throughout my career. So... Um, although, you know, it was hard at the time, I've, I've done that sort of effort. Um, the race simulation test that the team came up with was certainly a real challenge because it's a mixture of, of what they believe the requirements to be on the, on the day, be it sort of steady and, and sprint efforts and up and down. And, and I really had to draw on my experience, my passporting experience and being able to pace that sort of effort and also you know when you're when you're really suffering to have the confidence to know yeah okay I can keep going I can do this much more and, and that sort of thing so certainly certainly have drawn on my experience uh, in, in both rowing and cycling. When are you heading back to New Zealand when do you think it's the first chance you'll have to kind of uh, jump in a boat or um, you know start those kind of preparations obviously the AC 75 it hasn't been um, you know fully um, 
prepped yet, but uh, when is the first time that you'll be back here ready to kind of jump in a boat and I suppose meet the team even for the first time? Yeah, look, I mean, we're going to be in communication, obviously, via um, Zoom and WhatsApp, and and that's more on a training front in terms of just making sure we're getting the best out of each other, and we work off that team camaraderie. I'm sure there'll be a lot of competition. I've already, you know, the numbers are getting thrown around as to what what people are doing on various tests and various training sessions, so that's all part of it, and, and I, I really feed off that sort of uh, competitive environment. So looking forward to that aspect and like you say there's no there's no boat currently on the water that requires cycles so there's no real need for me to be there at this point in time and, and still working out with the team exactly when um, they want me available and 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 yeah you know, I'll, I'll certainly be there to provide power when um, when that time comes there is going to be a lot of experience across a lot of different sports in the boat. I suppose, have you had a chance to kind of catch up uh, as a team? And, uh, you know, I suppose, what are the personalities like? How is everyone mixing at this early stage? Not a whole lot. Um, it's very early days in terms of the announcement, um, both to the cycles and the team. And um, everyone sort of shut down a little bit for Christmas. Uh, so getting back into the swing of it and, and getting to know the guys, um, certainly know Cam Webster, uh, fellow rower, very well. Um, you know, great athlete, a lot of power. Um, so uh, I don't think I'll ever match his power, but uh, he, yeah, uh, the other guy, like you said, it's a real breadth and, and mix of um, endurance, sprint athletes, and, and really trying to work out how they complement each other. So there's four four spots on the boat. So trying to work out exactly you know who's more sustained power, who's more top end, and you know can provide that real sprint and sprint impetus, and um, just working out who complements each other in terms of body size, body weight, uh, and all those sort of things. So that's all to come, and it's really exciting. And different backgrounds is just such a wealth of sporting knowledge that um, you're just jamming into one pot. And you know, really excited to see what sort of performance gains we can get out of that. Absolutely, and I suppose it's 18 months until uh, the cup in Barcelona. Uh, is this the team that can defend the cup for uh, a third time round? Look, certainly, I, I think so. I mean, it's a very strong team in terms of personnel and the team has a great history in terms of putting out a, a, a very competitive boat on the cutting edge of technology. You know, that's sort of what they hang their hat on. So, look, I don't know too much about, well, I don't know anything about the design, to be honest. Um, I barely know where my seat is. But, uh, look, uh, like I said, I'm there to provide the power and hopefully that's not a limiting factor there. That's our job is to make sure that power is not a limiting factor in the success of the team. I mean, I'm just really thrilled, I guess, to, to get the opportunity. It's got a massive legacy, Emirates Team New Zealand, and to think that that can be part of my story is, is really exciting. So a great opportunity and I guess just one more, uh, one more chapter in the book, so to speak. Fantastic. Thanks, Hamish. Really appreciate your time. No worries.